Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another full raid week video. So, as you guys know, if you've seen the previous two, this is the third ever raid week that we're having. I like to wait until it's ended, I get the full rewards, then I walk you guys through my raid week, all my fights, and then we go get some rewards. And we're also going to be taking a 7 star to rank 2 at the end of this video, so you definitely want to stick around for that. So I'm finally going to be using my 7 star Iron Man for the first time today. Uh, but the thing is, he's rank 1. So, you know, I can take Iron Man to rank 2. I mean, we might be taking him up at the end of the video. You'll have to stick around to find out. But here for this raid week, he's only rank 1. Now, you know, I had the very first raid week, I, I used Iron Man. Uh, my 6 star, 565, but I forgot a relic. So that was a little bit of a, eh, that's definitely something that, like I could fix, could have been better. Then week two, we used Titania and it went pretty well, um, but I definitely preferred Iron Man. So now week three, we're gonna use our seven star Iron Man, even though he's at a rank one level. So, you know, like, I think a 565, 6200 is better than a, uh, a rank one seven star, but I, I wasn't sure. And you know, I feel like it's not that big of a difference. So I wanted to, you know, really see what a rank one seven star Iron Man is capable of. And also, as you've probably noticed, uh, out of our, we already got our first chest there that contained T6CC, um, because the first boss is down. So my my two pod mates, uh, Steve and Mad Cat, they just took Kang down without me. They didn't even need my help. <laughs> Once I joined, he was already dead. So yeah, that's interesting. So uh, here we have Maestro. Now, Maestro is the, the worst of the bosses anyways, so, you know, and Kang's the easiest. So, you know, at least I missed the easy one and I'm helping with the hardest one. So, that's the way, that's what they, that's what Steve told me anyways. So, uh, just to make me feel better, because I felt a little bit bad. I'm like, damn, you guys already did Kang without me. Like, I, um, like I didn't join late, like I joined pretty early still, you know. We can take a look at the time in, in a sec. Um, but yeah, with Iron Man, it's really all about that critical armor uh, Vanguard selection because that just makes him do ridiculous damage here. So you can see we're already, that was 172k medium. Now we got six armor breaks. This combo, boom, 277,000, uh, boom, 277,000, 177,000. Just some really big crits. And that's just the beginning, you know, we're, we're just getting started. We're just getting this ramp going. It's only gonna be more damage. And it's just, it's so satisfying to see those big yellow numbers, you know? It's just something about it, man. It's just that hit of dopamine that you get from seeing those big yellow numbers or something, you know? So I am trying to parry his specials here, of course, to, to pause my armors. And it's going all right. So boom, here we stack back up to six more armor breaks. Got the striker ready to do a big combo. Uh, gonna do that, then throw another special, get the six armor breaks back up. I think at one point we, we get to like nine armor breaks. Not in this fight, but I think it's later on, maybe, I'm not sure, I think at some point though. And I remember only having nine armor breaks for like a brief moment, but the damage was massive. I'll have to pay attention, hopefully to see that. Um, like I, I don't have every single bit of gameplay in here, just like the highlights. There's a couple of attempts that I didn't include, uh, just because, you know, it is a lot of the, the same fight. So let's try to keep it interesting here. But uh, yeah, the first first run here on Maestro is going pretty good. We're getting cooking, we're getting set up. Uh, accidentally trigger my regen there. Every time I ever trigger that regen, it's pretty much always an accident. That's uh, just one of the very few gripes I have with Iron Man's kit. Um, but you know, whatever, it can only be used once. So it, it just, it, that makes it feel worse. You know, the one time you use it, it was an accident. You weren't even trying to trigger it. And then you don't get access to that ability anymore for the rest of the quest. You know, it's a little annoying. But uh, I am very comfortable just fighting Maestro in general, you know, um, before he even was a playable defender. You know, I had a lot of practice and experience against Maestro in Labyrinth, in different challenges like, you know, the, the Summoner Showdown, first ever one of those. So here, I don't think I did the max damage, but I and I pushed him red as well, but I timed it so I, I timed it with the timeout so that he couldn't even throw an L3. And yeah, it's all good. So, but just going in uh, with the Vanguard, that helps to get it set up, I think. I don't fully understand how that all works, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's something along those lines. So now we're gonna be dealing more damage and 
yeah, I'm not really sure how to ramp. I, I usually just fight when I'm told or when I see an opening. Oh, sure, I'll go throw some revives. Because, you know, with the chain, Kabam made some very big changes after the first ever raid week. You know, the first ever raid week, it was like a couple revives, like every, every, every couple of days, you can get like two or three or something like that. And then, you know, they did a lot of, they basically overhauled the raids uh, for the second iteration. And I, a lot, so many good changes, so many good changes. I just feel like they might have overcompensated a tiny bit, um, which we'll talk about a little bit more once uh, our raid map's clear. But yeah, just like there's before the change, you know, there just wasn't really enough revives and it was far too spaced out. Now there's so many revives, like there's, there's more revives now available than I even need. Which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing, but, you know, if I was Kabam, I would try to find that perfect balance of, you know, not having too little revives and not having too many, you know, somewhere right in the sweet spot. Um, but, I mean, having more revives is definitely much better than not having enough. So, you know, if we have, if it has to be overcompensated instead of undercompensated, I would absolutely much prefer that. Um, but yeah, it's just... I just feel like they did a bit too much, but it's definitely so much better than it was the first raid week. Uh, and I really, personally, I really like raids. Uh, I really look forward to it every month now. It's just such a nice break from AQ for one, and for two, the rewards are just really, really good, man. Like it absolutely feels worth it. Um, at the end of the video, we're once we clear all the raid gameplay and chest rewards and all that kind of stuff, we are going to, you know, go claim all the rewards. And you guys can see the rewards, man. It's a lot. It's, it's, it's so much more rewards than, like, a, just a, an AQ week, a regular AQ week. You know, it's so much more rewards. And so here we're just plugging away on my show. Um, boom, do the full damage here. So we got him down to 61% now. When we started, he was over, like, about 130 million health. And he was 134 million health um, at the start of this clip. And now he is below 100 million health. I think he's at 90 something, 94 million. So yeah, we took off over 30 million health off my show in that clip. Uh, and then I also finished the job as well. He was at like 14%. Um, so here I did the max 12%. Now <laughs> he still has 2% left uh, of 2% life left. Uh, and so we're just gonna keep reviving, revive full. Got so many revives. And just take a look at the timer, you know, once we're out of this Maestro fight. You have a full seven days, you know, to get the raid map complete. Um, and you guys are going to see, you know, we're still in the first day. We're still in the first 24 hours at this point. Kang is down, and now Maestro is about to be down as well. So, boom, get some parries on those special two. There we go. Drop our special two, activate our mode. And yeah, he's gonna be dead in just a sec here. Beta heavy, and hit a little relic, and hit him with heavy. Pew! I was hoping that would kill, but it didn't. I like Iron Man's heavy. I just wish it did something. You know, like if it had like a power drain or something. You know, similar to Stark and Spider Man. And the reason I say that is because oh wait, hold on though. Look at this right here. Boom! Finally, 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 something other than T6 CC fragments. Oh my god, 2,000 Titan shards. Oh, that, that felt so good. That felt so good, man, those Titan shards. Oh, Titan shards are like my, my personal most sought after resource right now. You know, like I want Titan shards more than I want tier four alpha fragments right now. Titan shards, Titan shards, Titan shards. That is what I want the most. That is the kind of deals that I am interested in buying right now. Deals that have Titan shards. Titan shards are what I want. Titan crystals are what I want to open. You know, I just, I love them. Uh, so I think that was the lowest amount of Titan shards, but I will take the lowest amount of Titan shards over T6CC fragments every single time. Every single time. Um, that was my very first time getting anything other than the lowest drop rate of T6CC. It's always, I've always and only gotten the lowest drop rate out of, you know, the, up until this point, that's seven chests. That was my my eighth chest. So it took eight chests to get something other than T6CC for me personally. Um, and Titan Shards is exactly what I wanted to see. 
saw a lot of my alliance mates actually getting titan shards as well i saw a lot of drop rates of 4,000, so double what i got which would have been nice but i'm more than happy with 2,000. and of course you know there's still the big grand prize of 20,000 titan shards like i don't i don't understand how, how that's a thing but one day hopefully we win that jackpot man at 20k titan shards that would be man that would be nuts that would be nuts to end one of these videos opening up a titan crystal oh man that would be something else but uh yeah maestro's down kang is down now so we're just getting to this thanos oh yeah and circle back to my point before we open that chest the reason why i think it's totally justifiable for iron man to have a power drain on his heavy attack is because you know spider-man stark enhanced his suit was made by tony stark and it has power drain function on his heavy attack why doesn't iron man tony stark himself have a power drain function on his heavy attack you know i i i i think it could be argued that he, he deserves it you know it's his tech in spider-man's suit that does that why didn't he put it in his own suit you know i don't know i don't know but we're just getting this thanos started um just to, you know build charges for the other guys in my pod steven madcat so just doing really whatever i can here you're not expecting to do a ton but you know this is the first first fight on the Thanos, and you know we're doing decent damage even with the rank one iron man in 286k crits like the the rank one is not holding us back at all at all you know if this was a 565 a rank one or a rank two or a rank four six star or a, a, a six star rank five ascended I, I think they all work just fine i think iron man is just that good that it doesn't really matter um doesn't really matter so we end up timing out but we did take off 10 percent. 12 percent is the max now we took off 10 percent, so that's not too bad and then we're gonna get our ninth chest so our final one for this raid week what is it gonna be is it gonna be more titan shards nope right back to more t6 cd that <laughs> back to that uh and then we are gonna fight this ultron i think i do like two attempts on him here um so yeah we're gonna jump in because again this is still the first day we're still on the very first day of this raid week we're already at the ultron box um and i still have you know revives still have a ton of revives to use and the revives haven't even reset yet at this point so we can still get you know seven more for free after the reset there's just so many revives it's just so easy to get this done quickly which is very nice because we're actually going to end up finishing this raid week on day one so you know that's the equivalent of a full week of aq so that's why i like this so much more than aq because you know aq it's it's only four days now which you know it used to be five but four days of a week I have to do aq every single one of those days you know section one section two section three or you know sometimes just two sections but eh, four days of the week have to do that you're forced to you have to clear your own path you know with raids instead it's one day for more effort and more uh you know planning with your group but then you're done then you have a whole week off from aq and it's that is an incredible feeling oh yeah look at this damage bro 400ks on these lights 653k crits uh, here's where we get the nine armor bricks, I think. But yeah, yeah, doesn't even last long enough. Maybe I get another point. That's 132k non-crit medium. Holy fudge! 650k. Like, what would he be doing if he was rank two, man? Like, <laughs> then he evades me and one combos me. So you know that sucks a little bit, but it's okay. Like I said, look how many I have eight revives right there. And again, that's before the reset. So I have seven. I maxed on those revives right now. After the reset. I can double that. I can get seven more. Uh, so here we're going to go fight this Ultron. And, and I'm just trying to get him close to like 50%. Just, you know, do my part. There's 10 of us, you know, that can take down this Ultron. So, you know, I don't feel like I need to do a ton. But I'm just doing my part. If I can get him close to 50%, you know, before the regen. Uh, and then just give my teammates a warning. All right, you know, Ultron near his regen. Should be ready. But no, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. And if... If I check back in later and you know there's still more health in Ultron, I can help out, but that just wasn't the case. You know, after I did uh my two runs here, when I checked back later, the map was just cleared. <laughs> so yeah. 
And yeah, th this guy's evade is uh, is annoying. A little bit annoying, a little pesky. It just it comes back so quickly. It really does. Uh, but uh, yeah, at least you if you pay attention, you know, you can see it. I I don't think I was really paying attention on the first run uh, for that evade, but. Yeah, here we're stacking up these armor breaks. Boom, we got six of them here. Oh, but then, yeah, he clips me with this, the special one. But boom, I recover. I hit a clean intercept. I'm about to bleed out, but I attack him and use the adrenaline healing to save myself from dying. Uh, and we managed to get in, like, another 5% or something. You know, 5% when the opponent has over 100 million health ends up being a decent amount of damage. So, yeah, we ended up clutching out this run and getting in a lot of extra damage. So, felt pretty good. Uh, this is just funny, getting a little bit wrecked by Ultron, right there, he just keeps on evading me. Here, are we going to get 9 armor breaks? I think we're about to, I think we're about to hit 9. Boom, yep, there we go. 9 armor breaks, but they just don't last, they just do not last. I wanted to get in a big hit with 9 there, see what it would have been. But you see, now our damage has pretty much fallen off. Uh, at this point, and I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe I've used up too much of the Vanguard charges. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure how it works. So at this point, I've lost the bulk of my damage. You know, we went from doing 400k attacks to now like 30k attacks. So I was like, okay, yeah, I, I've done my part. I'll let someone else, you know, do their part now. Got them down to 54%. Close to 50. It's good enough. You know, I did my part. And as you can see here, uh, like three hours later, there's still six days, 15 hours on the clock left to do these raids. We're done. We're 100% complete. So that is our third ever raid week, our fastest clear by far. We were done, you know, within the first eight hours. Really awesome. Now let's go jump in game, claim all those juicy rewards, and take a seven star up to rank two. Let's go. All right, guys, we are now live in game at the leaderboard here, and you can see uh, the rewards here, we ended up getting 10th in the world. So top 10 all get tier 4 alpha uh, catalyst fragments, which is the biggest chase item right now for the bulk of players. So we just made it with that 10th spot, luckily. Uh, usually we've been placing like 8th, so it looks like we got pushed back about 2 spots, but we still made it, so it's all good. Now let's go ahead and claim these rewards. So up first... Boom, we got a Raid Shard Selector. 7,500 7 star shards. That is so nice. I love that. Half a 7 star. Beautiful. A million gold. Always take more gold. Tier 6 Basic, Tier 3 Alpha. I have been in need of these resources lately. Been in dire need. Love to see that. Fat Chunk of Glory. Take that. There's our Tier 4 Alpha Catalyst Fragment. 5,700. We get three of the 25% T6CC and then a 25% selector. So let's go claim all that. Plus another chunk of glory and some good fragments of the T6B and T3A. Uh, so here I think we're going to be taking mm, Mystic actually because there's a lot of Mystic rank ups that I want to do. Nice, we're stacked on glory. We're going to go spend some of that. Um, we need to... I just want to buy a ton of this stuff. So like... Oh, we froze. One sec, guys. Let me just flip this around, and it should be working better. Shouldn't happen when I flip it. Okay, I have 10,000 glory here, so let's start with five. Go five and five. And then let me see where I'm at. Basic, tier six, tier three. Okay, we can use one more tier three alpha. Do that. All right, we should definitely be able to do a rank two now. Uh, but let's go open up some crystals real quick before we get to that. Uh, we got... Just want to focus on the T6CC stuff. Yes, yeah, so we got five of these bad boys. Got to pop them open. No mystic at all. And no science. And no mutant. Wow. Um, hmm. It's interesting. Not, not necessarily bad, but interesting for sure. I do like the Cosmic. We're at three now. That's nice. I meant zero science, though, so, you know, a little bit of science would have, would have been good. Um, but okay. Okay. Uh, so I'm really between two champions right now. I, I haven't fully decided which one we're going to take up. Um, 
but uh, yesterday we uploaded the deathless guillotine video and i said in that video if we get 1000 likes we're gonna take her to rank two so she is 100 percent guaranteed going to rank two the question is is it right now today or will it be my next one because there's also another champion that i want to take to rank two um and that is bullseye because he's going to be my next rank three actually uh, so it'd be good to get him up to rank two now and you might be thinking like well, is it really worth taking Bullseye to rank 2 right now when you have the 6-star ranked up? You know, until you actually get him to rank 3, like, is it worth it? And I was thinking about that, and I, and I think it really would be. Because if we just take a look at one one stat, the health. So, 7-star rank 1 Bullseye's health pool is 5,402... Excuse me, 54,220. 54k. Uh, if we compare that to his six-star counterpart here at uh, at rank five, it's only fifty-five thousand, almost fifty-six. So you know the seven-star rank one is not even that far off the rank five six-star. So if we take him to rank two, he's going to have way more health than the six-star bullseye. But I do want to get Gilly up as well because you know I don't. I mean I do have our six-star. I don't have the six-star ranked up. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to take up first. I I have the T6CC to do both, but I, the basic catalysts here are the problem. Um, it's just a question of who do I do first. I, oh, I hmm, let me let me actually see ISO. Okay, I I was gonna do guillotine, but. I'm pretty sure I'm low on Mystic ISO, but I think I have a ton of skill. So maybe we should just let the ISO decide. So let's see, skill. Uh, a lot. Mystic. Uh, not much. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think we're gonna do Bullseye first, but I promise, I promise my next rank two will be Guillotine. Uh, to fulfill the 1k like goal promise absolutely uh we're just gonna do bullseye first because when i actually when i made that video for guillotine i didn't have bullseye yet <laughs> um but she will be next rank two she'll be the next rank two for sure um i just need to get seven more tier six basic and seven more tier three alpha um and i would just go buy it with, with trophy tokens but i don't have much so kind of broke on that as well um uh, but yeah we're gonna we're gonna do bullseye just just for the the iso reason let's go ahead and take him up to rank two and i'm very curious to see uh, his health pool at rank two now compared to the six star all right nice let's just make this quick get some tier six there we go is that gonna do it oh not quite but good chunk all right and just tier five there we go perfect oh wait it's not perfect it's almost perfect 34. all right i probably need one or maybe to up to three just to be safe yeah three it is all right there we go bullseye rank two all right let's take a peek at his health pool now so up to sixty-eight thousand that that's a big increase so like the reason why i look at the health you know um is basically just for defense you know and there's you know 200 like percent health multiplier nodes so sixty-eight thousand compared to what was it fifty-six thousand on the six star that's gonna equate to a lot more life that my opponents need to take off bullseye to kill him uh and that's just gonna be more time for bullseye to do bull crap things <laughs> so yeah we're gonna, let's go put that uh i might have already put the seven star in my deck did i i did not all right let's take the six star out uh and put the seven star in where is he uh skill oh there he is his pi is below let's get him in though Cool, and then we're also going to need to give him a relic. So let's make sure we do that. And I'm really excited to take Bullseye up to rank three because he's actually going to be more, way more viable on attack. You know, at a rank three level, uh, he's it's going to help him offensively. All right, what is on Bullseye 
right now. My six star doesn't have one, I guess. Okay, we'll just give the four star to him then. Yeah, I guess he's relicless. Okay, four star uh, will do. All right. Well, guys, that is uh, pretty much going to do it for this video. We can also take a look where I'm at for my next rank three. So we're over halfway now with uh, with the rewards for this raid week. So we need about 22,000 fragments and then one more full catalyst. Uh, and we are going to be getting a good chunk of that from Winter of Woe. Oh, and level up was still on. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Um... What is this? Oh, Test of Valiant was on too? Cool. <laughs> I'll take those. Uh, but yeah, Winter of Woe here. We will be getting a full catalyst. So we're, we're I'm only going to be 22,000 fragments short. It's not going to take that long. So rank three, rank three Bullseye will be happening within like the next two months for sure. Maybe even within the next month, which is really exciting because this dude is going to be just such a menace. But um, yeah, guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for my third ever Raid Week video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I promise Deathless Guillotine will be my next 7-star Rank 2 for sure. We'll have a full dedicated video taking her up to Rank 2 and getting a bunch of gameplay. That's also kind of why I didn't want to do her today because I want her to have her own dedicated video and then really take the Rank 2 for a spin. Whereas Bullseye, not really eager to take him for a spin until I take him to Rank 3. For now, I'm just going to be planning him on defense. So it... it fits better in this video for this rank up i think but yeah let's gonna do it hope you guys did enjoy drop a like if you did subscribe if you want to see more peace out